What we want the Prime Minister do to do is call the Parliament together and table the report so we can see why they report, man. Make we examine the report. Because we can't read it. You know? We can't examine the report for ourselves and see what we want. Bless up, bless up, my people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, my people. And we're seeing the People's National Party on the Jamaica Labour Party's back as it pertains to some fresh investigative report that was sent to the Parliament by the Integrity Commission. And the People's National Party spoke out at a conference urging the Jamaica Labour Party to resume Parliament to speak on the IC report. What we want the Prime Minister do to do is call the Parliament together and table the report so we can see why they report, man. Make we examine the report. Because we can't read it. You know? We can't examine the report for ourselves and see what about. And when the leader of the People's National Party, Comrade Mark Goldie, went around and asked his MPs, tell me if you're in a this and then say no. And couple of Labour rights won't come out and say no me. Imagine. People are telling lies, a thief in there, and you over there, and you say, You want to come out and clear your name. The Prime Minister said, No, gag order again. <laughs> it is a gag order government. We need a leader of the team that is coming, whose hands are clean so that he can talk to anybody else who's upon the team. Any home of people, it's alleged that Matthew Samuda has been tipped off to be the new speaker of the house as well as the new finance minister hence the rush for the northeast saint Anne's by election my people in less than 24 hours after marcia smith had resigned so my people a whole heap of damning information is in this ic report here it seems and it seems as if it's all entangled around Juliet Olness, who is the current Speaker of the House. And I am sure since last week, Wednesday, when they received those reports, my people, they must open it and look and see how who entangled in a, that investigative report and, and indicative findings. And I too, like many other well-thinking Jamaicans, wants these illicit aid to be pushed out of Parliament, to be pushed out of serving the public and to be prosecuted if the need arise my people we can't have those who are set to serve the people of jamaica robbing from the public's purse no time at all and so we see in the opposition still pressing the government to place on the agenda for debate private members motion as well as a bill tabled by opposition leader Mark Golden to impeach wayward parliamentarians. The bill for the impeachment of public officials who run afoul of the law has in recent times been the subject of intense debate following a decision by the committee considering the reform of the country's constitution to reject recommendations to place impeachment provisions in the new law. And so we know that they still did not at the impeachment legislation in the reform constitution that was spearheaded by Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs Marlene Malahu Fort. And her response to that, my people, she said the committee reviewing Jamaica's constitution proposed that there should be no inclusion of an impeachment process in the reformed constitution. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck had laid out in Parliament in 2011 under the Bruce Golden administration the impeachment of public officials who misused their office. The proposed statute eventually fell off the table and was never reintroduced. Can you imagine my people from 2011? And even former Prime Minister Bruce Golden is not happy that they did not include impeachment in the proposed or the new constitution reform. And so Philip Paulwell is adamant that the impeachment bill and private members motions must be dealt with before the annual constituency debates get underway. 
He says we are now struggling to see which of the private members' motion would be dealt with before we get into constituency debate. He complained that despite raising these matters on a regular basis in Parliament, the parliamentary opposition is yet to receive a positive response from the government. So my people, they don't really want to speak about any acts of impeachment. You understand? And from your fine guilty as a parliamentarian, you must be impeached. If you're abused in your office, you must be impeached. But that's a topic that they are um, running away from and they keep running away from my people. I'll know them can't talk about impeachment. And the very same Prime Minister now, Andrew Oles, said in his campaign running up to 2016 that he would have dealt with impeachment in the first 100 days and we're in his fifth and final year in parliament and still no impeachment and so while we lay the blame at these corrupt politicians for their criminalities and so on we must also lay the blame on some of these disgraceful supporters who give them their fuel by supporting and voting for them to continue in their corruption. So most sound of supporters will support them on a part of the problem. And that's why most sound of still don't see anything wrong. That's why only can say I know integrity win election and money and co and goat and this and that win election. That's why only can say so. Because uno no no integrity on self. Uno a part of the problem why some of these leaders behave and continue with them dirty behavior. Anyhow, my people, the People's National Party's 86th annual conference will be held from September the 13th through to September the 15th. So they will have on Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th, they will host the private sessions of their conference at the indoor sports complex at the National Stadium. Registration starts at 10 a.m on friday and 9 a.m on saturday their meeting commence at 11 a.m and 10 a.m respectively and closes at 7 p.m on sunday will be the public session of the conference at the national arena and this is scheduled to start at 10 a.m and ends at 4 p.m so all those who plan to go out and support to do it in a orderly manner and to do it in love for each other and no war and strife so when you go out and support on a party if you so desire anyway my people when you take a look at this we are seen where the minister of culture olivia babsy grange you know posted to her social media or whosoever is running her page posted to her social media you know sending out a tribute of you know louis bennett being 105 you know years old and when we back check my people this is the very same video that she posted or that was posted um seven years ago right so it seems to me my people that miss grange being admitted to the icu for what they said was a flu virus seems to me that it could be more than that my people when you're seeing them kind of trickery behavior here you know they don't really want to disclose what's really going on but it's alleged that she had you know received a stroke and so we seen where the parliamentary secretary abka fitz did come out and said that you know she extended her well wishes to the olympians and this and that but we're still to date to get an update on her progress she was released from the hospital the latest info i got but this doesn't look you know look good my people but whatever the circumstances is i pray that she will recover from same but my people on the way in and tell me to think about everything that was said in this video from the whole matthew samuda being tipped off allegedly to become the new house speaker and so on and so forth and what if this old speaker is really compromised she should step away and resign resign all to complete 
we can't take the bang around. The same thing happened with Dalrymple. We can't take the bang around in the parliament. They need to go if they're not serving the people of Jamaica. We don't want a self-serving politician around here. But talk up my people. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run over to my other platform, Facebook and TikTok. Follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store maker purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. Only a small fee per month to be a member of the Anissa Bell Rose movement. Member shout out goes to Angela and Ivan Wallace. Big up on yourself. Thanks for the continued support on the channel. Like up that one and share it out my people near and far. If you're new to the channel, please to subscribe on the road to 20k. Help me to get there, my people. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourself.